Can you get the flu shot and the COVID vaccine at the same time? Guys, the answer is yes. It is safe and effective to do so if you so choose. In fact, it'll save you a trip. You can do this either with a COVID vaccine or booster and the flu shot. As a family doctor, I just recommend my patients get them in separate arms. That way, if there happens to be a reaction, uh, you know which arm it's in. But yes, you can get uh, flu and COVID uh, at the same time. Next question you guys have asked me is, when should you get the flu shot? Uh, ideally, you should get it in September in October, um, best before the end of October. Um, but if you can't get it by then, you can certainly get it afterwards, uh, November, December. You want to get it sooner than then if you can, though, because you don't want to get the flu. So, uh, but just know if you can't get it by the end of October, you can still get it, okay? Uh, if you are 65 and older, which flu shot should you get? Guys, this is a really, really important one. Make sure that if you are 65 years of age uh, and older, that you are asking your doctor or your pharmacy or whatever, that you are asking them, about the high dose flu shot. Yes, you need the high dose flu shot, not the regular one, the high dose. And if you're not sure if that's what they're giving you, make sure that you ask them. This is super important. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I'm asking I'm answering, not asking, answering your flu shot questions today. All right, there's a big question about um, whether the flu shot weakens your immune system. Um, I've seen this sort of floating around on the Googler Schmoogler and a lot of people have asked about this. I kind of looked into it. Apparently there were some studies in some, some recent years that suggested that getting an annual flu shot could actually weaken your immune system. Uh, but the good news is uh, we don't necessarily believe that is the case. I certainly don't believe that's the case. In fact, there actually have been studies uh, in the past years that suggest that people who got people People in the study who got an annual flu shot, uh, yearly flu shot, actually, um, it, the flu shot actually helped them build up better protection against the flu and did not weaken the immune system. Uh, so don't buy into the myth that the flu shot weakens your, the annual flu shot weakens your immune system. It's actually important to get the flu shot yearly. Remember what it does is it tells your immune system what to look out for, which is the flu. So it gobbles it up and doesn't get you sick. Okay. Very important there. Um, let's see your other questions you guys have asked. Um, who can get the flu shot? Well, it's indicated for people six months of age and older. Uh, with rare exception, most people can get the flu shot. There are people who cannot. You want to talk to your doctor about if that is you. Uh, but like I said, with rare exception, people six months and older can get the flu shot. Um, and uh, if you get the flu shot, um, will it give you the flu? Big important question here that I answer all the time in the office. Very important one. Um, because I know when I was a medical student, I got the flu shot and then I got I got sick right afterwards and I was convinced it was the flu shot, but alas, it was not. Uh, this is why. It's because um, the flu shots that we have, they're either inactivated, um, the virus is inactivated, which means it can't make you sick, uh, it can't give you infection, or uh, the flu shot has a particle that's designed uh, to look like the virus to your immune system. Now, there is the nasal spray flu shot. That is a, a version the flu vaccine that actually has a live virus, but uh, the virus has changed so that it, it's not likely to give you the flu. So um, if you get sick, um, there's a number of reasons why you might get sick if you got the flu shot, but it's not the shot. So get that vaccine. Last question is where can you get the flu shot? Um, get it from your doctor, your family doctor, your specialist, if they're offering it, your OBGYN, get it from your local pharmacy, uh, health department, etc. Many places are offering it free. My pediatrics and pediatrician friends often suggest that if you have, uh, if your child is getting the flu vaccine, try to get it at your pediatrician's office if possible, because that way they can keep up with your records and the child's records um, and sort of keep track of all that. Uh, but the most important thing is that you get the vaccine. Guys, let me know if you've gotten the vaccine, if you're getting the vaccine, when you got the vaccine, other questions you have. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please let me know if this video is helpful. If you've not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so for those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Um, and for those of you on YouTube, please subscribe, click the little bell for updates. And for all of you, consider joining my subscription groups. Oh, and check out drjencoddle.com. You can sign up for my free health newsletter. And I have a new offering called Dr. Jen's Daily Health Tips, where you get a daily health tip emailed to your inbox every single day. All right, guys. Love y'all. Talk to you soon.